Hey everyone, how you doing today? We're bringing back Dana to talk about hem lane and things I've learned as a newbie uh, property owner and working with property managers and the like. So let's welcome Dana to the show. How you doing? Great. Thanks for having me, Michael. Awesome. So we're flipping the script today as we did in episode number one, and you're asking me questions because again, I think people want to hear about my early journeys and and uh, see how hem lane could have helped it. Yeah. So um, my question here is, what have you learned? that was slow and expensive through the process, right? Where uh, you didn't act fast enough with something, but you learned it learned it the hard way. Yeah, that's a good one. Because when you think about real estate investing, and maybe it's not everyone, but it certainly was for me, I was comfortable with the numbers, right? Deal evaluation, cash flow. What, what are, I was comfortable calculating the property taxes down to the penny and getting an insurance quote and kind of building the spreadsheet. That's where my mind was. I was an accountant by education. and That's just where I lived. And unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know how you want to look at it, but being a real estate investor and a landlord, it's a, it's a people business. So knowing that, uh, probably the most expensive thing for us to learn. And again, going back to episode number one, if you haven't seen it, you know, I fired the first five, five property managers was trying to get process and procedures in place, right? Now, something very simple today, which I've talked about endlessly on my channel was getting your defined box for yes answers from tenant apps, for example, right? Yeah. It sounds simple today, but 20 years ago, you know, frankly, Hemlane wasn't there and everything had to be done orally and you had to communicate it and you had to document it 17 different times. And when you fire a property manager, it suddenly doesn't get transitioned. And uh, it's, um, it, was, it was a pain. So for me, the biggest thing was realizing, I thought the answer lived in Excel and Excel is like 5% of the journey, right? Once you, get a, once you get a tenant, this whole world of processes and procedure and legal issues and risk mitigation and you know, just, it's just all this other stuff. And that is something um, that was slow and expensive and repetitive and would have been far easier if there was a platform out there like Hemlane to just put it in one place and kind of be done. I, I think back now and just laugh. Yeah. Well, and I think Excel, it's interesting. A lot of real estate investors say, oh, well, I use Excel for my property management. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. And I actually, I do agree with Excel. I love Excel. I love putting things into pivot tables and, you know, slicing and dicing mm -hmm. um, data and, um, uh, you know, vendors and stuff in certain ways through that to understand costs and um, performance on certain units. But there was also the operations component, um, which you had mentioned in episode one of the time. Yeah. And like Excel doesn't physically collect your rent. You can record your rent in there, but what about just automating that? Yeah. Um, or um, maintenance requests. You can manually copy and paste all those emails over. But again, Excel is great for data analytics and tracking things, but it doesn't physically do the work. Um, and that's where I think if you use Excel, great. I tell people continue to use Excel, continue to use it for your numbers, mm -hmm. but you also need something that's operational. You have both your financials as well as your operations and you need both. Oh, you have, there's no question you need both. And, and again, I like the word that operation. I didn't think of it that way, but yeah, that, that is definitely what we were missing is the operational performance, right? We could always slice and dice the end results. And again, it, it, Excel was where I was comfortable and I probably leaned on it too much, but it didn't help us run our business. It didn't help us identify, um, you know, processes and procedures from one property manager to another. Um, it didn't, it didn't help us clean up communication, right? Via documentation and, and double checking and follow up and just all those things. Again, when you're running a busy day job, a busy career that has its own 90 day stress, because I was a commissioned sales rep that could be fired every 90 days. It wasn't always top of mind for me to follow up with, hey, did we evict that tenant? Or hey, did we, you know, did we get a yeah. second bid or just all these other things? I had other stuff to worry about during the day. Uh, that was very difficult to do back in 2002 and 2003, where everything was, was either email or phone calls. And especially when you throw in time zone differences. I mean, there was probably months where I was never in the same time zone as, as property managers, let alone same continent. So uh, just the whole, the whole ability to have processes and procedures, not only for kind of the running it, but let's not, let's talk about getting tenants, right? A lot of people I know try to do self-management. And the first thing you got to do is go advertise and get tenants. I would have had no idea how to do that 
back back in the day. So um, the big thing for me is is that processes and procedures was a lot of wasted effort, probably poorly done. Um, that certainly Hemlane could have helped with way back in the day. Yeah, yeah, and um, to your point, I think on the vacancy, um, right, and, and doing it yourself. If you do, to, to your point, if you're a day late to respond to a tenant for a showing, you've already lost them. They've already gone to another property, right? Um, it's it's not a market right now where you can be delayed. People expect in this day and age. I'm interested in a showing, great, when can I see it? Let me get it on the calendar right away. And um, so all of that, those operations are incredibly important to make sure that vacancy isn't um, reducing your cash flow there. Absolutely. Well, folks, do me a favor, um, go take the 30-day trial. Uh, where could they go, Dana, to get the 30-day trial? Hemlane.com, which is H-E-M. L-A-N-E dot com. Um, do mention one rental at a time because um, you do get 20% off um, through uh, the coupon code Zuber, capital Z-U-B-E-R. That's very cool. I love that you do them do that. Again, folks, you don't have to use the coupon code right away, but know it's there for you. Get the 30-day trial. See what I'm talking about. And if you uh, want to see the application, Dana has an entire playlist on this channel. I think it's just called Hemlane. Thanks, Dana. Great. Thanks. Mm -hmm.